welcome to the Sunshine State. Well, it's going to be a soggy one in the 64th Capital One Bowl. Even the winningest coach in major college football history looking for a little reprieve from the weather. Do they have their games down, Pats? They hope so. LSU and Penn State. We know one thing. We've got a cat fight coming up. It's the Lions, the Tigers, New Year's. Oh, my. ESPN's presentation of college football on ABC brings you the Capital One Bowl from Orlando. I'd like to be in the raincoat sales today, as a matter of fact. Les Miles brings his Tigers in from the SEC against Joe Paterno and the Nittany Lions of Penn State from the Big Ten. Partially blocked punt by Chad Jones. Starts to their own 34-yard line. Jordan Jefferson wants to go up on top. Got a man open. And the catch is made at the 49-yard line. Brandon LaFell, and he LaFell down just to get that ball. Darryl Clark lost one out. Oh, dropped by Moy. Finally got a man wide open. And Moy let it slip away. As far as a receiver, he's held on to the ones that Clark's aimed at him. Oh, my gosh. What was that? See, here's the other thing. When it's wet and sloppy, every snap is an issue. Yeah. Whether you're talking about a snap from center to the quarterback, whether it's a shotgun snap. Newski will get over that pile of mud for the third and ten at the 42. Picked up the blitz. Clark, high throw, but Zug got it. There's a good catch. Green back in the backfield behind Clark. They fake it to him. Clark. Going to go long. Got a man. Touchdown. Derek Moore held on to that one. Receiver up to the top of your screen. You can barely see him. On third and ten. Jefferson throws underneath. LaFell's got it. He's off to the races. Brandon LaFell to the ten. Navarro Bowman tracked him down, or he would have had a touchdown. They try to put LSU on the board. Kick on the way, and it's perfect. So LSU has to settle for three, but they'll take it, says Les Miles. If you're just joining us, uh, we don't have the greatest field conditions. Pretty directly with us yesterday. Clark. There's an excellent runner, and he's got a first down at the 40-yard line. Second down at seven. Penn State with a 7-3 lead. Clark, quick drop. Lobs one. Oh! Should have been intercepted and taken the other way. He should have had it. Well, and again, you know, you go back to, to a point. I don't know if it was Vince Lombardi or who. There's a reason why some guys play defense and some guys play offense. We've seen three or four defenders in this game. Third and long for Darrell Clark. Throws on a crossing pattern to Corliss. There's a mismatch time talked about. And he's out of bounds at the 29-yard line with another first down. The offensive line was really the biggest issue this year. Colin Wagner, 26-yard field goal is perfect. So they didn't get the touchdown, but Darrell says, we'll take that three. And it's 10-3. Penn State extends its lead. Really good defenses. Florida, Alabama, Ole Miss, and now Penn State. They've struggled. Jefferson. Flags are down in the backfield, probably a holding call, and then he tries to get rid of it. Another flag yeah. where it might, might be intentional grounding as Andrick yeah. was getting to down in a couple of miles for LSU. Jefferson's got time, and he's aired it long, and it is almost caught, and it would have been a touchdown for Randall. This one went from almost intercepted to almost touchdown for LSU. Mm. To just another punt. Yeah. And that's the other thing they're thinking as well is if that would have been interesting. As you can tell, the field has been a little bit of a problem for both teams. Jordan Jefferson, quick fire, in and out, and intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Because we're not getting any pressure. Finish, you're fresher than this. Royster is fresh right here on a cutback. Royster inside the 10. And 
down near the center. Unless it's a quarterback draw, we're probably going to see a pass. Clark lobs it. Knocked down. Royster almost caught it after it was knocked down by Brandon Taylor. 18-yard field goal attempt by Wagner. And it's up and good. So, about four seconds remaining now in the of the football. Second down to 10. They haven't been able to get anything going on the ground, and they won't get much there. Ridley, the ball is out. Penn State's got it. Wagner, two for two, three for three. Knocks it through from 20 yards. And number two in the Big Ten in rushing defense. Showing why today. Jefferson rifles this one down the middle, complete to Tolliver, and he's got a first down. Jefferson making sure everybody knows who has whom, because here comes Bowman. And he throws, and it's caught, and it's a touchdown. Boy, what a nice job by Jordan Jefferson. Another punt return from Boone. Boone lasted this one. Holiday takes it at the 11. Trendon Holiday, get him in the open field and you can forget about it. He got it to the 50. Boone, the putter, saved a touchdown. Jefferson running out of time. Throws, got a man out there and he's got it. Tolliver to the one. He held out of that one, didn't he? Fell back in the eye. Now they shift. Three tight ends set overloaded to the left. They pitch it to Ridley straight ahead. Touchdown. First down at the 40. Clark lobs it across the middle. Going to be another first down. Curtis Drake. Big third down. Clark, two blockers in front of him, has to get rid of it, and he got it. I think he's going to get the first down on forward progress. Clark again, this time throws behind the first wave of defense to suck again. Colin Wagner will try a 21-yard field goal. He's hit all three today. He's hit all four today. Clark led the drive. Wagner finished it off. 48 seconds to play LSU out of timeouts. Jefferson. Coming out of the pocket. Got around the containment and got to the sideline and got the first down. Final play of the Capital One Bowl. Barring a defensive penalty. Jefferson going to throw it. They got a hook and ladder maybe set up. They tried to lateral it. And now the ball is out. Ruben Randall pitched it. It's over. Penn State wins it. Crazy ending. Happy quarterback on one side. You can see the emotion. And he's our Capital One player of the game. Darrell Clark closes out his Penn State career with a lot of records, but you can see he's fighting back tears right now at his 394th career game, and he and Les Miles have a smile out there at midfield when it's all over. Les Miles with a tremendous amount of respect, just telling us the other day he just loves Joe Paterno. And today he lost to him as Aaron's with the winning coach. Well, coach, just really quick, we had a shot of your quarterback, Daryl Clark, just fighting back tears. How much does this mean to him today? Well, <laughs> I'm just trying to get people to understand how good he is. It's been pretty tough to find anybody east of the Mississippi <laughs> that believed him. So I, I'm delighted. It was a good game, took the team back. He was a great, great young man. Coach, thank you. Congratulations. Final score, 19-17. That's going to wrap it up. Capital One Bowl champions, the Nittany Lions of Penn State. For Todd Blackledge, Jared Andrews, and our entire crew, Brad Nessler, thanks for being with us all year, everybody. Don't forget, it's Oregon and Ohio State in the granddaddy of them all. Coming up next, so long from Orlando.